Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the most fiercest creatures to have ever existed on this earth, and to my dismay, also one of the dinosaurs with the just as fierce fandom. But let's put the defensive fanboys to the side and let's focus on what you should do in a fight as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, to be completely honest, Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of the creatures I would rather wait with uh, to give in the combat guide. But seeing as Rexy won the poll last week, I don't really want to go against democracy. The reason for me being reluctant to give Tyrannosaurus a combat guide are mostly because of its current state. At the time of this recording, Rexy are currently going through what I would like to call development phase. And which means that Rexy are currently going through a bit of a stat change, ability change, and a lot of stuff that makes Rexy a bit... Um, difficult to analyze. What I mean is, the way to play Rexy now may very well change in the near future, but when that time comes, I'll make sure to update the combat guide videos. For now, I should focus on what we can do during our current state of stuff. So, let's begin. The Path of Titans Tyrannosaurus Rex is a land-based carnivore, which means that every opponent you'll fight are mostly land-based creature. Or of course the creature that somehow makes their way from the ocean up the rivers and meets the Rexy when he comes to drink. When it comes to what subspecies you should grow, I really can't make that decision for you. I tried all three of them and I honestly cannot pick a favorite, so you will have to pick and choose and just find out which one you'll find the most comfortable with. The T-Rex arsenal are also under development, and it's also one of the reasons to why I'm, I'm a bit hesitant to give a final conclusion on how to play as a T-Rex. But I'll give my full opinions on that at the end of the video. For now, let's just analyze the current state of arsenal. The main weapon for Rexy is of course his mouth. We have his normal bite and you can kiss any victory goodbye if you don't equip that, followed up with a bone break ability that inflicts bone break based on how long it's held. Incredible useful for anything around your size. We also have another variation that does smaller damage but with a fixed time and better suited when you're facing faster opponents. For Hyde we have two options. We have Resilient Scale that does uh, increase bleed and venom healing by 30%. And lightweight scale that increases speed by 10%, decreases speed by 40%, and decreases armor by 10%. This one is kinda important, so remember this one when I analyze the updated arsenal of Rexy. The charge ability just really makes you run really fast and also causing damage to anything you hit. A kind of a stamina drain ability, and I don't use it and I don't find it useful in my opinion, but what do you think? The tail attack, a basic attack that causes light damage. This is also important, remember this category. One of the most important abilities to the T-Rex, and I'm sure we're all familiar with it. In my case, I use the abilities and the attributes that are best for brawling. Also, the attack abilities, biting and stuff, I usually change that depending on my opponents. More on that later. To be completely honest, playing a solo T-Rex, it is really not a good idea. But if you have no other choice, then here at least what you can do if you do meet an opponent similar to your own size. When it comes to battling Spinosaurus, they will always win in a battle of turn radius, and that is what you as a T-Rex should try and avoid. In that case, you should always try and bone break the Spino. Of course, this applies to the Giga too, and any other opponents you will be fighting. Once you're bone broken your enemy, it is paramount that you try and get behind them. Your opponent might have better turn radius or be faster than you, but that doesn't matter when he doesn't have the ability to run away. When it comes to opponents similar size to the T-Rex, I usually use the charge up bite. But when I meet opponents that are a bit smaller than me, then of course they tend to be faster than I am. The only reason that I believe that the charge bite are effective against a creature your size are due to the reason that they are slow enough to get caught in, in the attack. The other attack drains less stamina 
and is better for faster opponents considering that they can just dodge their charge up fight. It's also pretty conspicuous, so it's not like they won't see it coming. They might be smaller than you and faster than you, but they can take less damage than you can. As soon as you bone break them, they are usually done. Of course, the attack does drain stamina, so you need to watch out. You can't just use the attack all willy-nilly. Now, if you're attacked by multiple adversaries, I would recommend getting your back against the wall. At least get out of the position where they can attack you from every direction. In such a situation, I would recommend just taking a defensive stand. Sooner or later, they will have to make a mistake. And that's when you'll strike. This is also a good uh, time to say that if you are attacked by other duo apexes, if you're a solo, then it's best to just uh, count your days or time and just go down with a fight. Seriously, if you play solo, even a group of three Allosaurus can kill you. I really do suggest you teaming up with another T-Rex, also because your attack will stack up when you use your Tyrant Roar. Also, it's kinda beautiful, sorta, in a hunt, when both players know what they are doing. I think this hunt speak volume when I say that I really recommend you to team up with another Rex. Now when it comes to what terrain you should go for or if you should even try and take the high ground, to be honest I don't think it really matters considering that the Rex's hitboxes really works in every biome. Well if I had to choose I would try and go for a more open area and not with a lot of hindrances. If they obstruct your bone break, that's just wasted stamina on your side and free hits for your opponent. If anything, I have to say that the Rex's stamina is his worst enemy. The stamina drain on some of the Rex's abilities are just unbelievable. So if I had to sum up the strategy you should do as a solo Rex, then it should be First bone break your enemy to prevent them from moving around. When they are bone broken, they will most likely go on the attack. Use the precise movement button or back away and also activate Tyrant Roar. Once you've gotten the buff, just continue biting like your life depends on it. Now back to what I said during the beginning that I believe that this strategy will be temporarily. This is due to the fact that the stats to the T-Rex has been changed and of course it will receive some new abilities with the coming updates. Let's take a look on the new abilities before we take a look on the stats. While we haven't gotten any abilities for senses yet, if we take a look on hide, we will see that the decrease in turning speed on the light whale scales has gone from 40% to 25%. We also see no mentioning about the, the decrease in armor as it did before, so maybe light whale scales will be better in the future. 
As for leg ability, we finally have another ability called Strong Legs, which take 40 less knockback and 50 increased bone break healing. This is much more useful than the charge attack which just drains stamina. The tail abilities have gotten a new balance ability that increases turning radius. How well this will perform, we'll just have to wait and see. The Tyrant Roar has gotten a new symbol which is all fine and dandy, but the new ability, Deep Rumble, which decreases incoming damage by 20% for 30 seconds. In other words, a call for defense rather than attack like Tyrant Roar. I can see duos, one equipping with Tyrant Roar and one with Deep Rumble in the future. As for the stats, the Tyrannosaurus Rex used to have an HP bar on 1000, just like the Spinosaurus. Now it's been reduced to 800, same HP bar on Giganotosaurus. I also heard something about it reduced combat weight, but I'm not too sure about that category. While the Rex still does most damage output, it is questionable if it can still continue to win face-to-face -face brawling like it did before. In my case, I am certainly dodging my opponent's attacks more than I used to. In my opinion, I think that the T-Rex's nerf in stats has put him in an unfavorable position compared to the other Apexes, but with the coming abilities, that might tip the scale back into the T-Rex's favor. But that's just speculation. What do you think? The PvP of this game will continue to evolve, and so do us players. Hopefully, the evolution of this dinosaur world won't be hit by another asteroid.